All right, guys, welcome back to some post commentary for uh, above. We are having to reload the game here. Uh, we failed in the last video to even complete this level, which I don't even remember what the level was called. I want to say it's like the, the canyon maze or something like that. It, that sounds familiar to me. I don't particularly remember. It's been... Um, about two weeks since I've recorded this, and I just I needed to do post commentary for this level because I just I could not do it for live commentary. You guys saw three videos of it, um, in live commentary, and I was just failing and failing and failing and failing and failing and failing and failing. And failing. Um, and so this is a uh, 26 minute video because that's how long it took me to beat the level. Um, split into two videos, so this one's like 14 and a half minutes, and then the other one's going to be like 12, but we do get the level completed. It takes a minute just to get into the damn level. Um, yeah, the, okay, Riverbed Run, find your way out of the Riverbed Maze, and it is a maze, and it's ridiculous what they end up wanting you to do, um, for this level, just, in, it, it, it's so horrible. So I go over and get these just in case, you know, somebody didn't watch. So in there is a uh, purple berry, I believe. Yes. Uh, and then we'll also get the one that's right here. I don't know if, like, they show up because we've seen it. Um, or if, like, it's even required that you have to look through the magnifying glass. But it, it, it might be. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I haven't really done much research into this game because I am essentially playing it blind like I have the level uh, names written out but like I don't know any real strategy for anything I'm only looking up stuff that I uh, can't seem to figure out uh, and we get like a super berry almost immediately which is fantastic and that was a uh, that was a constant life uh, producer in which we, we screwed it up <laughs> we should probably have kept that as a constant life producer because uh, we do get hit quite a bit. I think we get down to like our last life as well. I do end up doing some um, live grinding. Uh, not much uh, in a different video because or not in a different video. I did that off camera. Mainly because the, the game's actually a pretty hard platformer. Uh, one of the instances at least with um, this level in particular is there's a portion and I'll point it out once we end up getting back to it where you got to put a seed over a pit and if you're too close to the pit when you drop the seed you'll fall in but the seed will end up being uh, the seed will still be on the other side of the pit so it's very it's very finicky that way uh, that's where the F is we do end up 100%ing uh, it because I did not want to have to come back to this level um, I think we learned in the last video that the harvester can kill enemies, which will then give you um, the golden berry off of them. So I don't know if um, we are going to get, like, if there's an alternate ending to the game or not. Uh, I haven't really recorded much past this. I've, I've only recorded the next boss. I still have 60% of the game to go through. And we're already on video 15. So it's going to be like a month and a half long LP, which is pretty uh, decent for us. I'm not sure why I paused here. I might cut it out. And in fact, I think I will. And you know what? It probably won't make a difference if I cut it out or not. But, um, oh, what is it? Uh, it it'll be good that this will be a shorter LP. We've been doing a lot of games lately uh, on the channel that have been longer LPs. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, my estimate is a little over 215 videos. We have Baldur's Gate right now, which I've recorded up to video 69. I might be doing some recording later today of that. And uh, that, I have a feeling, is going to be like 100 videos or something. But... Um, no, we've, we've been doing a lot of longer LPs. Oblivion, Horizon Zero Dawn, we had Morrowind way back when, Crash Bandicoot, the Insane Trilogy. 
uh, we ended up having, which uh, that was 115 videos. Um, so it will be nice to have something that's like 40 or something videos. Okay, so yeah, we, uh, we've had a lot of long LPs, uh, very recently, at least in the last year, which is why we haven't had that much of different content come up. So, you know, having something that's, you know, a PS1 platformer, which is designed to be short, will, uh, be pretty good, because then we'll be able to get through it, uh, pretty quickly, hopefully, uh, without any more issues like this level. Uh, and then we'll be able to, you know, move on to even bigger and better stuff. Like, we we have a lot of uh, series that we still need to do. And I also have a couple ideas with Gretchen for LPs that you may or may not be seeing uh, pop up occasionally. I'm just not sure as to when we're going to start those yet. Um, but yeah, I mean, so we're... You know, we're building plants and getting them up to be bigger and taller and whatnot in order to uh, get our abilities in order to do things. So this stupid pit idea here. Um, I hate this. And we need, like, the seed to get over here. And so, you know, you get close to it. This is the area that I was talking about earlier. You get close to it. And then I automatically ran off because I'm stupid. So it's this that you have to do two seats across, I believe. And it's just, it's really dumb. Like, they they shouldn't have made it for it to be a pit that you could uh, actually, like, fall into. Because, like, that's just asking for just death. So. But yeah, like, it's a lot of, you, you gotta move seeds over to these platforms because this, it's the only way that you're gonna be able to get up to the various things um, in order to get either the letter for the flick token to get an extra life or whether it's to get um, an extra oh what am I thinking um, extra little metal thing for upgrading like your attack or upgrading one of your plants and you need, you need to be able to do, uh, to get up there, in which, uh, the mushroom, clearly right here, is not gonna let us get up there. But we need to, you know, we gotta, we gotta build, like, many plants, move many seeds around. Like, this level was a, uh, pain in the butt. And there's the golden seed, uh, up there that would allow us to just start killing enemies, but we need to get a seed up there. And we currently don't have a way to do that. And the way that I do it is stupid <laughs> I think I don't particularly know of any other way that you can do it that spider with its cheap attack then we get hit again um, I'm not really sure of any way any other way that you could end up um, doing getting the seeds up to where you need them to be uh, is basically the way that I'm trying to uh, say this it, very convoluted with what they end up making you do. So yeah, we just, we just leave that seed that we passed alone. We're going to use that. I think it's in the next video, possibly. Maybe uh, in a video afterwards. And we are very close to death. Like, I just start trying to kill enemies so that I can get some health. Because we're going to need the health. Like, these falling... Um, I'm not entirely sure what they're called, but just the falling mine spike ball things uh, are really a pain in the butt. Uh, especially when, um, I believe, I'm like, yeah, we don't even get that health because I was too worried about the spike ball. Like when we're, yeah, when we're climbing up this one right here with the uh, uh, things right there, it's really hard to like, oh, let's climb this safely because the spike balls are just like, eh, we're going to hit you. Why not? Like, I think I've had a uh, few cheap uh, hits off of that. And I actually had to scrap an entire video 
uh, before it. I decided to record no audio, just trying to get through this level. And I had a 18 minute video or so that I just died. I game overed. So uh, that got put in the trash. <laughs> no need to see that. And so we. I don't know, there's not really much to talk about. I mean. You gotta move seeds and you gotta build plants and stuff in order to get the thing. And, you know, I mean, the plant location that I currently have is not the best. So I think, yeah, we do end up moving it. But I mean, it's still, it, the camera being the way that the camera is doesn't really help at all. Um, and I got the wrong, <laughs> I got the wrong plant because I'm stupid. And I didn't realize that I do actually have the, um, the blue health gain plant in my inventory as a possibility because I could have just started gaining uh, health because I think I'm still at like only two hits for a possibility and I do it again where I get the mushroom the dumb. I do yeah and there we go we got hit by like one of those spiky balls and it's just like why and then for some reason the, the, the wall is just like pushing me back and I don't understand so and then I just fall off. <laughs> like this, this has made me doubt my, this and uh, Crash have kind of made me doubt my abilities in doing platform games, which have usually been um, my bread and butter in terms of uh, what I'm actually pretty decent at. <laughs> and I don't exactly uh, know as to why, like, I'm not that great at a platformer. Granted, I've never played this, so I don't particularly know, like, level layouts or um, where the collectibles are and how you're supposed to progress through the level, as I've never touched this game before. I've just owned it. Um, but, I mean, at least for, like, the... Uh, like, Crash Bandicoot, I had seen that before, and I was just atrocious at a couple of the levels. So, yeah, you can get F and K... Um, by themselves. You don't need to be moving seeds at all. And that gets us um, another... No, that makes our mushroom be a possibility of a whirly plant. And so there we go. We ended up getting the health medal, so collect all the seeds. We still need to beat all the enemies and then still get the I and the K. And I'm not entirely... Or the I and the L. And I'm not entirely sure what we get done in the remaining minute and a half. I should probably, like, if I'm doing... Huh, I just noticed that the guy uh, that flicks eyes in his um, health icon moved. That was interesting. Yeah, so here's what I do. So it seems like we get on top of this one in order to uh, get something. I think it's the letter I. And so I change one of them into the whirly gig. That's what I call the plant, the whirly gig. We have the leaf block, uh, the whirly gig, the mushroom, and then the um, status plant. So we turn it into a whirly gig, and then I kind of just throw the seed onto it, and it lands up there. <laughs> and it lands up there pretty poorly, um, in which, you know, I think I changed it into a green plant over in the opening so that's easier to climb. Um, so, I mean, it is a way that you can end up doing it. I don't know if it's the way I would recommend, but it's the way I did it. So, then we still have that beetle, which is a pain in the butt. But, yeah, so we're going to end up collecting the letter that is up here. Um, and then we will still have the defeation of every enemy. And then the collection of the last letter. And then we're done with the level. So when we come back, guys, I will see you for more of a Bug's Life in the Riverbed Canyon run thing. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you back tomorrow.